Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Gross Deutsche Bund Mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Tim Wokalaba, but we must begin negotiations with the Poles. The German Empire lost large swaths of territory in the aftermath of the disastrous First World Conflict, especially in the Bitter East. Some concessions were justifiable, but others were quite successive. Now the Polish Corridor splits our nation in half. Before we can pursue any further kind of relationship with the Poles, we have to settle this matter first. Let's confirm our claims as we approach Hungary. Hungary suffered terribly from the Treaty of Trianon. Seeing its lands taken away and its former pride stolen, they are keen on regaining their lost limbs. We have shown our close ties with Austria. We have to ensure them that we do not intend on infringing on their claims in the process by formally recognizing them as Hungarian lands, followed up with probably a uh, German-Hungarian alliance, maybe? Germans and Hungarians have fought side by side over centuries of and generations. This has worked out great for a long time. We should, we would do, we would do go by reforging our alliance. Ah, uh, and let's grab some mass motorization because we love big infantry. Uh, approach Hungarians, very, very good. And discuss the future of Czechoslovakia next. But we have to deal with the Poles first. Um, got some comms to go through as well. What are we producing here? Super heavy battleships? That's fine. Just keep going for now. It's going to take forever to do it anyways. I don't really care. Um, it is 38. It's almost 39. Let's get another military factory churning out right now. Let's see. Anywhere we have 70%. Two and one. That's not bad. Uh, sure, we'll do it. I'll say Serene. That looks okay for now. And as many of you guys pointed out, a lot of you guys pointed out, I should really focus more on our military, and which I'm trying to do that. Actually, what did I do here? I'm trying to make some 40 combat divisions. They're looking okay. Um, I think convert all of these. Oh, well, most of these guys are 40 combat. So we're working on it. I know I'm not really focusing on artillery, anti-air, anti-tank, all the stuff that you guys said in the comments. Um, yeah, get more anti-air, anti-tank guns, artillery. Yeah, I know. I really like cruisers. <laughs> anyway, the Polish response. Not surprising the Poles question or claims. They won't consider returning Katowice or Poznan for the sake of the peace and mutual cooperation, however. They are willing to make a compromise when it comes to the question of Danzig and the surrounding areas. Danzig is not enough. Let's hear what they have in mind first. Alright. And what do they say? Oh, hello. Yugoslavia. I will give you until the 15th. They give us our uh, goods, but compromise proposal. A Poland proposes that we relinquish our claims on the, to the rest of Poland for the return of Danzig and the surrounding lands. Also, they want an unlimited and unrestricted access to the Vistula River, as well as the docking rights in Danzig. Furthermore, they propose the mutual recognition of the 1917 and 93 borders. This would further solidify our claim on the Memel land, and theirs on Lithuania and parts of Latvia. That's a good deal. No. 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 Yugoslavia, better pay us up. Yugoslavia. But negotiations come to a halt. The negotiations were without success so far. We have either have to make more concessions or persuade them of the mutual benefit of returning more of our claims, or otherwise we would have to rattle our sabers and intimidate them, which will sour any hope of a good spirit conclusion. Intimidate them? Con we'll go with concessions. Oh, Yugoslavia. What a shame. You wanted my planes, but you refuse to pay up. Not a very good neighbor now, are they? All right, let's see what happens. What will the polls say next? We got a lot of peepee. -pee. The final offer. After countless days and several heated arguments, our diplomats came to a compromise which both sides would agree upon. The state of Posen will be split into Poznan and Nessen. Germany will regain Danzig and Posen while relinquishing all of our claims over Poland. Poland will receive full access and docking rights alongside the Vistula River. Germany will receive com compensate will fully compensate anyone living in the border region who chooses to leave the state. Furthermore, they propose the mutual recognition of the 1793 borders. This would further solidify our claims on the Memelan and there's on the and part of Latvia. Uh, still not good enough. Actually, if I already this this one off screen, if you do this one, um, you you have to basically go to war with them or just back down. So that's a high price tag, but it's worth uh, worth the outcome. We get cores, we get Danzig and Posen. We lose a hundred political power, which we obviously have enough of right now. We remove two cities in Saxon and uh, two millies in Schleswig-Holstein and Krakow, and it's whatever. You know, I want to get more places anyway. So, and wait, Rom Romanian Civil War, cool. So we'll get Posen, 2 million manpower basically in Danzig, less than 900,000, but whatever. And that's okay with us. Now, obviously, I I honestly would prefer all of Poland. Like, don't get me wrong. I want Ness and Nissen and stuff like that. But, you know, I think that's the best we can do. I could be wrong about that. I think that's the best we can do, though. Um, I did ask you guys yesterday, who we should grab here. And actually, overall, you guys recommended that we go with... Albert Speer, of all things. You know what? That doesn't make any sense to me to do it, but he was a German architect who was the Minister of Armaments and War Production from 42 to 45, often created with Armaments Miracle. His appointment with increased industrial efficiency. I'm not sure if I'm going to use him at all, but you guys recommended that, so I'll listen to you guys. This time. <laughs> this time. Uh, we will need to get some anti-air as well, so. German-Hungarian Alliance. The Balkan Alliance. Ooh, that is not bad. Uh, Bulgaria gets more stuff here, too. Deep in her ties. Um, sure. 
Eastern cooperation. Let's do this one. Deepen our ties. Recent developments have shown that our countries are well capable of not only coexisting, but also mutual me benefiting from each other. In this town, we make a partnership known to the world. Pretty much. Uh, let's see, we got one thing going here. We got one thing going here. Keep making more millies, because we just, for the love of God, we're going to need so many millies. So, so, so many millies. And we're going to get one, one and a half political power every single day. Not bad. Um, so I want to recommend that we try out the HRE path, the Holy Roman Empire path, and get the monarchy and stuff like that. Um, I will probably someday. Right now, not yet, just because... Happy 1939, by the way. Um, uh, you can do that with just vanilla Hoi 4. Like, with just vanilla Germany. But I don't want to try that right for right route that route for right now just because we have a special sub mod here or German or mod so I just want to make sure that we do this for now Eastern cooperation after a peaceful reconciliation both countries set their sphere of interest in the east we made Poland a promise that we would not only give them access to the Vistula River but also help them reclaiming lost lands where it mutually benefits us and when the time is right they will have their very own access to the Baltic Sea once again yeah they can take that as long as we get this of course Raider patrols are nice. We get some better artillery. Oh, we've not even done our that artillery stuff. Oh my goodness, what have I been doing? Not enough. That is correct. Not enough. We definitely need. Oh, we got enough guns for now, but not really. We're gonna need more support equipment. We're gonna need more artillery. We're gonna need just so much more stuff here, man. Yeah. Ah, good. One, two. Uh, do that one first, cause you'll make that one actually much faster. So that'll be done very soon on the twenty-third and today. Good. Now keep working on that one too. Very nice. The Treaty of Danzig. After the resolution of the Polish Corridor, both powers agreed upon further cooperation. Part of this agreement was the restoration of the 1793 borders in the Baltics before the second partition of Poland. We now have the chance to follow through with these restoration plans. Shall we explore this matter further? No. Put the squeeze. Oh, I like the squeeze. Oh, baby, let's squeeze them. Uh, the Balkan Alliance. Let's get uh, going with Bul Bulgaria's democracy push. Bulgaria is a perfect candidate for our ambitions, much like Hungary. It has its own ambitions and is quite unsatisfied with the results of the Balkan Wars. But most importantly, its ambition synergizes very well with those of our east other Eastern allies. And we will get a lot of these guys here too, so. Cool. The Baltic response. Given their desperate and encircling situation between us and the Soviets, they opted for the lesser evil. Lithuania went along with the restoration of the Commonwealth. Poland did hold its promise and returned the Memel land back to us. So our eastern borders are finally restored. Well, somewhat. Wow. Well, hello. I guess we got this one, too. Nice. It's not much, but it's something, you know. Cool. Not looking too bad, and we got this part, too, so. Could be a lot worse, could be a lot better, obviously. But still. Nice. Keep building, 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 for the love of God, build! The Soviet responds, Our actions of the Baltics do not go unnoticed. The Soviet Union exploited the situation, citing the production of Russian citizens from the Royalist resurgence. Oh, they actually get cores on that. Well, that's alright. Deutsche Bund looking pretty good. Followed up to discuss the future of Czechoslovakia. Uh, Czechoslovakia is another weird con construct that resulted from the humiliating peace deals of World War I. It is neither an ethnostate, nor a national state, nor a geographical solution, but just a whimsical idea of the Entente powers. It is time to find a sustainable solution for the region. Absolutely. Um, really not much here. Oh, okay, so we can invite the Commonwealth. Invite Hungary. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Invite the Baltic Union. Well, let's try them first. Let's try the Hungarians. Ah, oh, they joined the European Vanguard. Oh, Atlanta Hungary. Oh, where's that? Um, Hungary's already in our sphere of influence, but we could easily sway them further to the, our way of thinking, making them even more easily manipulable in the future. Is it down here? No, it's not over there. Oh, okay, well, whatever. Hungary joins the European Vanguard. Today, represented as a Hungary and Deutsche Boon have been in Brandenburg to ceremoniously sign several treaties that would regulate cooperation and mutual military assistance. The meeting was concluded with a symbolic handshake of Mikolaus Horthy and Konrad Adenauer. Together, we shall withstand anything. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Cool. The Balkan Union? Uh, about the Commonwealth. That's probably actually probably good to do. Um, if they die, then we probably die too. But, you know, that's kind of okay. Things happen. We can get that one next. We're doing well over here. Tanks, get some Panzer III, because I want to use some Panzers for this campaign. Guns are looking really good. That's not looking good. That's looking okay. Our armies obviously aren't looking great right now. And we really need to probably focus more on this theater as well. Actually, you guys have tanks on here. Yeah, definitely focus on this here, because the Soviets will be on this side too. Hmm. More divisions or not? What are we missing right now? Just support equipment. Just tons and tons and tons of support equipment. If that's the case, we could probably convert you guys, all of you guys, to 40s for now. Train only if you have to. Like, just, just train if you have to. Don't train if you don't have to right now. 
Followed up with, uh, let's go back up to something to the left. Unless we have something else that unlocks your pressure Yugoslavia. Bulgaria has to be in our faction first. Actually, where are they? The Balkan Union. And they say, the Conference of Prague. Delegates of Austria, Germany, and Poland and Hungary have gathered to find a solution for the Czechoslovakian state. All constituents have serious interest in the dissolution of this artificial state. While Austria and Germany want to achieve the return of former lands of the First Deutsche Bund, Hungary wants to undo the losses of the Treaty of Trianon. Poland has an agenda of her own as well. May the conference begin. Oh, integrate. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. Compliance more than 40%, less resistance than 10%. And spa? Yes, please. Promote von Stauffenberg? Sure, why not? If you want to go that, please go right ahead about his uh, trivia. Oh, he died on July 21st, 1944, huh? Von Tresco? Gosgerth? Von Leto Vorbeck? Yes, please. Nice. At this point, um, you're just basically going to have to do like this. Good luck. You're going to need it. Oh, are you over... Oh, you're over there. That's fine. Because right now, we're looking... Oh, Bulgaria actually did join us. Look at that. So did Hungary. Romania would be nice if they could join us as well. I'll pressure Yugoslavia. Balkan Royale. I kind of like this one to pressure them, but... Oh, Balkan Royale. Um, but the gross Deutsche Bund. Let's get that one done, because I want to get... Rid of those debuffs as fast as possible. Unorganized Bundes. It is time to reform the Confederation into a federal entity that will be formally known as the Gross Deutsche Bund, representing the ideals and borders of the 1848 proposed Greater German Solution. We should also think about making Frankfurt a new capital in memory of the 1848 Nation Assembly, or National Assembly, and the location of the Bundestag of the First Bund from 1815 to 1866. Ah, Bulgaria joins. Great! A handshake of Boris III and Conrad Adenauer. That's basically the exact same thing as we saw earlier, so. Czechoslovakia is a failed state, much like Belgium. Wait, Belgium's gone, so, yes, exactly. Nice, keep making those factories. The results of the first week, all participants quickly secured the best claims. The first few articles read as follows. Southern Slovakia and the Carpathian mountains of Ukraine will be returned to Hungary. Zalzi will become part of the Polish state. The Sudetenland and Pressburg will return to the Deutsche Bund under the control of Austria. Easy pickings, let's see what week two brings. Ah. Oh, it's nice. It's, oh, honestly, I don't like it, but, you know what. Czechoslovakia, a failed state. Ah, oh, you look kind of disgruntled, Edvard Benyes. It is what it is, results of the second week. Thanks to the peaceful management of the German-Polish relationship and the friendly outcome of the Danzig Exchange, we had a much better position during the talks. Tol Poland does not press any further claims as it trusts our judgment. Ooh, this enabled us to fully annex Bohemia and Moravia. Therefore, we were able to give the rest of Slovakia to Hungary, which will strengthen our bond while nurturing their ambitions. What a wonderful result. A toast to our new friends. Ah, uh, do they have this as cores? I hope they do. Oh, they do. I love Austria. As long as they join us. God, I hope they join us. I'll give back the Commonwealth. At this point, we might as well. And just cleaning up the map. Look at that line. Look at that line. It's not perfect, but oh, yes. 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 Ah, oh, they join us. Ah, oh, the symbolic handshake between Ignacy Moschiki and Konrad Adenauer. Actually, at this point, I really want to beef up this side. I really don't trust them, Soviet boys. As much as we love Soviet boys, we can't really trust them. I have a feeling this side will hold pretty fine, but you never know. IMRO, huh? Well, maybe. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm not really sure. But we will see. Zog submits. We get enough of that. Oh, and we need more. Way more arty now. Let's look at okay. Let's grab more of this. Let's grab some more of this. Just keep cranking out those millies, man. Uh, let's see, 80. There you go. Get some uh, fuel as well, that'd be really good. Ah, construction three, very good. Three days left, and we'll grab some better artillery. I think we're making some anti-air as well, hopefully. Are we? Nope. I did a bad thing. I wasn't making any anti-air. Gross Deutsche Boon. It's time to solidify the pan-German idea by consolidating all members of the Boon into a more homogeneous new system. It'll take time to work everything out and equalize different sectors, laws, and structures. It might be a long road, but at the end, oh, wait, it's a golden future. Mackensen's vision of a renewed and complete Germany is finally fulfilled. Let well, the celebrations begin. Austria, Switzerland, Luxembourg, a new flag? Oh, we get cores on them. Nice. Oh, oh, crap. It's flags. Now this. Ugh. Oh. The boon never, never encompassed Switzerland before. Should we keep the historical flag of 1815 to preserve continuity, or should we create a new design? We could either choose a combined or combination of tra traditional insignias and colors, or unite all flags in one with equal space. 
I quite like the old flag. I mean, that just makes some sense. Let us show our history by portraying your signias. Let us emphasize our democratic heritage. Is that the one? That is... Oh, man, that's kind of ugly. I think I chose this one last time. Let's show our history by portraying your insignias. Or insignias. I mean, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. I wanted something different than what I've done before, so. Alright, so we got all these divisions. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, Cunning Wilhelm the First. These are not too bad. These guys are actually, actually better than what we have right now. Public force, what is this? One ten oh my gosh. I, I don't even want to see these. Yeah, I don't I don't even want to be bothered. I'm not I'm not gonna look at this. Um yeah, don't even bother me with this stuff. Oh good god. These ones are okay. Yeah, Geberg's division with a dash in the middle. Well, we got this one. Grenz Brigade. We got Alpenjäger. Geberg's Brigade. So what we want is Geberg's division. Geberg's. Geberg's. There you go. Right? Oh, no. That wasn't the right one. Maybe let's go down and go down here. Get Geberg's. All you guys, honestly, with you four, just pull them out. God dang it. My apologies about taking time for this. Uh, anything else here, really? Anything interesting? Oh. You guys are Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, I don't really care. I'm going to convert all you guys into tree. <laughs> this is going to be bad. That is going to be really bad. 40s, let's go. There you go. Now we're really out of equipment. That's alright. Two front war won't be too bad for us. Cool. And Rommel von Manstein. Let's go with... Henning von Trusco. Would you be part of a gang someday? Maybe some sort of gang of, I don't know, a certain number, like three or four, maybe? Yodel? No. Schutz. You four are actually okay. I'm going to throw you... Uh, there might be mountains down here, actually, so I'll throw you over here. That's fine. Train if you need to. You two, just kind of hang out for now. And... Uh, restructure the armed forces. Ashes from the Eagles. Uh, okay. Better loser. Address civilian matters. Social justice. I look like there's supposed to be another tree here. Technocratic ideas. Ooh. Jewish stuff. I do like the research slots, though. Ooh. Ooh. I, uh, I want that extra stuff. Allows recruiting Princess Victoria Louise von Prussia as the first female army leader. It's only 28 days. Address civil matters. Now that the boon has been reformed into a new entity, it is time to shift our attention towards civilian matters. Now we got a lot more factories to work with. Oh, look at this. That's nice. But not enough. The Balkans are once more in motion. Given the general feeling of change caused by the recent treaties around Europe, the reawakened Hungary teamed up with Poland to exploit the weakness of Romania. Internal struggles within the Romanian government has led their neighbors to oppress territorial claims accompanied by massing troops at the border. Romania has decided to appease them during this time of national unrest. Opportunists everywhere. Wow, you just stuck your little willy into Romania. Wow. We actually have a ton of guns. We need artillery and motorized now. Just pour out the arty. Uh, lower it by five, lower it by uh, that much. There we go. We're going to need some more of this stuff too. Actually, can we do we? Ooh, we're already on limited exports. It's not good. Um, just import what we need for now. Keep working on some civvies too. That'll be good. Um, Soviet inv invasion of Bessarabia. But troubling news reaches that the Soviet Union, inspired by recent events, decided to get its share and started to invade the border regions of Romania. It looks like they made secret deals with Bulgaria because there are several reports of movements along the border as well as small skirmishes in Dobrujica. That's horrible. A new seat of power. Now that we've come together as one people, it would only be fair to reevaluate which one of Romania's cities shall become the new capital. Königsberg. Now, okay, Munchen, capital of Bavaria, Wien, Berlin, Frankfurt. Capital of First Boon. Yeah, I want to do that one. I like that one. Sorry, Berlin. Uh, do that one, thank you. Nice. Dismantle this stuff? No, 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 no. Hungary mobilized its soldiers. What smarted as a small daily Balkan business has turned into a race against time. The fight along the southern and eastern border have left the Hungarian borders undefended. Empowered by recent gains, the Hungarian high command decided to intervene to occupy the remaining claims. It seems like jingoism spreads like a wildfire. When will this end? Ah, let the world burn. Because if it's not burning, it's not turning. And we like a little burning and turning here. Oh, sure, why not? God dang, that's so... That's a, the fattest hungry I've ever seen. I love it. 
I love Fat Hungry. Um, I really want them to attack us, so keep focusing on the right theater. The right, the eastern theater. Then again, these guys might hurt us. Third partition of Romania. Unable to defend Romania from all fronts against this unformal war without a declaration of war. It's surrendered to Bulgaria, hoping not to fall into the hands of the Soviets entirely. Who will be the next victim of the Soviet aggression? Wow, that is insane. That is a... Jesus Christ. Is that a core? That doesn't make any sense, but I love it. Bulgaria, of course, asks for our help after we make a few more of these things. Thank you, and then thank you. After the surrender of Romania, Bulgaria annexed the core territories of Romania. The secret agreements between them and the Soviet Union only included Dobrugia. Now the Soviets demands the Romanian lands north of the Danube for themselves as agreed. Finding some form of unity in this threat, the government in exile of Romania has decided to join Bulgaria, thereby forming the Balkan Union. They have dis they have to ask us for help. If we do not risk, do we not act now? We risk the Soviet Union getting a dangerous amount of influence in the Balkans. We won't risk another world war because something happens in the Balkans. Um, sure. That is a flag. That is definitely a flag. Political shift in Hungary. After the successful reintegration of Hungarian lands, more and more people are satisfied with the status quo. Those people are inclined now to follow the right-wing parties and instead want to model their new system after the great democracies like Germany and England. If you do the pride of the fire, fuel is stops burning. That is... This is disgusting. How fat Hungary has gotten. That is just absolutely disgusting. We do need more cities to trade away for more goods, too, but... Alright, so really, we're missing artillery and motorized. Artillery and motorized. Technocratic ideas. I don't want to lose consumer goods, but I want that extra research slot. We should further dismantle the artificial borders that have been established to hold people back. Everyone shall be equally judged by his talents and potential. Let's start by making education and universities free regardless of gender and other trivial things. We have PP. Oh. Oh, God, I want that one badly. Um. Von Brauschit. Von Beck is good. Haldler. Haldler. Haldler is good as well. Recovery, it's not bad. Um. Hmm, I don't know. Goal ring? Nah, air innovations, air reforma, Kessel ring is okay. Later. Hmm. Organization you can use that on no matter where, where you're at, so we're gonna go with that guy. Good, good, good. After that, we shall do equality of opportunity. Now that we've dismantled the barriers of race, religion, and money, we can now refine the raw and untapped potential of almost 100 million minds. Yeah, almost 100 million. Look at that. Wow. I'm glad we're on a extensive conscription. Oh, no, no. War economy. We're not on a extensive conscription. That's something I do want to get for us, though. So after this, we're going to keep getting more uh, tungsten, get more artillery, make sure all of our infantry divisions are actually up to snuff, because we got enough guns, we got enough support equipment, we have enough, like, tanks. Bulgaria seeks Balkan claims warranted. Uh, uh, approaches Gross Deutsche Boon. Okay. The Balkan government has signed a commercial agreement with several German companies in an attempt to strengthen ties with Gross Deutsche Boon while stimulating the injection of foreign capital into the country. Under this agreement, German investors will receive significant legal benefits and tax reductions when operating in the Balkan Union. This will encourage the Balkans to side with us, and a delegation from the Balkan Union has approached our government asking for German support for the claims in the Balkans, seeking to secretly negotiate and secure Balkan territorial expansion in the region in the near future, in exchange for the Balkan alignment of, with Gross Deutsche Boon and the country's entry into the European vanguard. We will organize any territorial expansion we, as we see fit. Oh. Um, we'll see, I guess. Sure, why not, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe that's a bad thing to do. In the meantime... Keep training. Um, you are doing okay. Come down here. I need to divide you guys up. Keep training if you need to, but you are actually, you guys go back up there, that's fine. Good, good, good. Train yourself as well. All right, and equality of justice, or equality of opportunity, not justice. No justice here, just opportunity. Ah, Millie's elections in Hungary. The calls for the new system have been heard today. M many Hungarians cast their first vote on the road towards democracy. Plans for a final constitution are still vague, but the cornerstones have already been agreed upon. Let's send a congratulations. All right, all right. Thirty-nine. Better engineers, perhaps. Bad idea to do this now, but whatever. Ah, uh, so five there first, and then do it by ten more. Medium tanks, just yes, please. Are you guys all done training already or something? What's going on? No, you're still doing okay. You go right there. 
we will have to pressure Yugoslavia next. The quality of opportunity would be nice. Building projects has nothing there. Fallback lines. Well, we don't need that one yet. Um, let's do Balkan Royale. Our allies in the Balkans have grown in strength and their ambitions are looking towards Yugoslavia. Given our and their current position, we feel very confident in resolving the Balkan question once and for all. Or we could do this one, too. After staking everyone's claims, it's time to solve the unnatural construct of Yugoslavia. There's enough outside pressure now to press Yugoslavia into returning lands that do not belong to Serbia. Yeah, I'll do the Balkan Royale. Definitely that one. Alright, castle loading, that's fine with us for now. Very good. A six research slot, not good enough. We need more. More, more, more. Alright. There you go. Balkan Royale, another Balkan conference. Um, where are we at with this stuff? It is August. Hmm. Get more fuel. I like that one. I like that idea. Do we actually have a... Blackers are nice. Very good. An invasion of Portugal today. Spain and France carried out a surprise attack against a neutral Portugal, claiming a restoration of the Iberian Union. While Spain's troops are advancing towards Lisbon, the French fleet started a blockade of the harbors and into the Portuguese colonial holdings. Oh boy, issue a protest note. Oh, is the world going to explode right now? Oh, that's not good. Oh, Portugal, I'm so sorry about your colonies, but... Oh, well. Ah, Princess Victoria Luisa of Prussia. Yes, please. We've made it known that everyone will be treated equally based on his or her ability alone. This will sooner or later extend to the military as well. We should start by giving the princess the option to be the first female to equally occupy a military role. Born in 1892 to Wilhelm II as a seventh child and only girl, Victoria was a favorite of the late Kaiser. Before marrying the Prince of Hanover in 1813, she received the position of the second head of the regiment and of the Danzig Hussars Cavalry. Given her background and history, she would be the perfect symbolic figure to kickstart her plans. British response. Such seeing the invasion of their former ally, the British have started to seize French holdings in India as well as sending troops to protect Portuguese Mozambique and Timor. Britain finally does something. Ah, they do something here, huh? I just want a battle royale. That's all I want. The Balkan royale. We still do naval effort too. That's not bad. But later on. Uh, we have still not done army innovations, which would be good to get more bonuses here. Even though I like whole liquid uh, liquidization. Heinz Guderi, another radical... Th Radical theorists, those are racial theorists, no, radical theorists, are pushing for daring new doctrines emphasizing communication, identification of Schwerpunkt, and local concentrations of combined armed forces. Giving them free reigns might help them avoid the meat grinder horrors of the Great War, but Portugal surrenders. After the surrender of Portugal, Spain started to place garrisons in all major cities and on the Portuguese islands. Most of the Portuguese elite had already fled to Brazil by this time, luckily. A tragic but unsurprising ending. Ah, good. Wow, that's light green. Wow, that is. Are you Moors? People's Republic of United Iberia. They're really trying to make sure that we are challenging all fronts. Spain seizes Gibraltar. French ships started the bombardment of Gibraltar this morning, cutting the strait off, effectively removing the English control over the rock while Spanish troops started, started sieging it from land. This operation must have been planned for a very long time, given the astonishing success. The Iberian Union becomes owner. This will make Britain furious. Oh, let's hope it does. Drive them into our hands, our arms. We want to give them a, the British, British a massive hug. They didn't dominate Dutch trade negotiations, which is weird to see, but we didn't even do anything here, but okay. We have to be fascist for this, but good luck, guys. Good job. The French Iberian Colonial Treaty. After the joint attack on Portugal, both powers have agreed to redraw the colonial borders. In exchange for colonies in northwest Africa, France will be allowed to keep all sub Saharan holdings of Portugal and Spain. Pfft, why not just call it the Great Sand Exchange? Another Balkan conference, though. Given our strong presence and allies in the Balkans, we are able to heavily influence the outcome of this conference. The goal is to further unify the region into the Balkan Union. We should take care of the other territorial claims first, though. Let us start the with the obvious. Alright, so that one, I definitely do arm innovations, because I want to get that land auction fast as possible. Fast and done. Fast and done. Um, anything else here? I mean, that's disgusting. Italy's just kind of like, what's going on now? That's huge. Wow. The UK is looking pretty good, too, though. Italy's doing okay. They're just kind of hanging out. The breakup of big old Yugoslavia. The surrounding powers have agreed to partition parts of Yugoslavia to satisfy their territorial claims. Slovenia will be returned to Deutsche Boom. They'll make sure will fall into the hands of the Italians. And the Banat region will once again become of a Hungarian state. Excellent. Ah, as it should be, my friends. As it should be. Right, extraction, yes, please. Happy September 11th, 1939, my friends. The final act. There is one last thing. Italy, as well as the Balkan Union, have demand from each other to relinquish the remaining claims. The Union feels Dalmatia and Albania still as a central part of the region, but Italy wants those claims gone. In return, Italy now demands Montenegro, although the Balkan Union is our ally, we should consider taking the side of Italy. If we don't want them to feel mutilated once again. Hmm... Support the claims of Italy. I kind of don't want to do that one. Bosnia will become a core. 
Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Nine. So we do the top one, they get nine cores. If we do the bottom one, it'll be you get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know what? I think I did this one last time. Let's support the claims of Italy. Decrease in the opinion. Albania is now core. I think I did the other one last time, so I'm... I mean, this doesn't look great. Honestly, I should have get, just given it to these guys, but... I wanted... Oh my god, that flag is so bad. Jesus. Oh, it's, it's like the other one we could have chosen, but my gosh, it's not good. <laughs> oh my goodness, use German city names. Oh, you bet we will. Oh, well, so much for having the Romanian Civil War. Army innovations will be nice, and then coal liquefaction. Well, actually, let's keep doing with this side, because we keep moving pretty quickly through this stuff. How about the Anglo-German friendship? Our relations were not always tense. Our monarchs share history and blood. We were friends and foes over the years. In this time of danger we, and need, we must unite against our enemies. Together we shall rule land and sea. With their navy and with our uh, military, there's none that can stop us, right? None. Right? Right? Uh, you guys are over west, right? Yeah. You should be fine over there. Uh, how would we be faring over here? I mean, that's pretty small. Let's throw you guys over here first, maybe. Because um, actually, you probably have to guard. No, it was just this group. We don't have the Swamp, Germ swamp Germans yet, so that's fine. Alright. Uh, Region-wide integration would be actually quite good to get. Chief of the Navy. Raider. Um, actually, yeah, I think we'll do this one next. The Giant has awakened. We might be able to get America with us, too. I do want the Germanic neighbors, because that would be really nice. As we're trying to build more and more refineries for our military. What are we missing? Artillery, which is looking all, actually a lot better than it used to be. Holy crud. British Malaya? Sure, why not, guys? Nice. We need more manpower, too. Um, do that, too. Go two. Go three. So go three. Uh, keep making some cities, too. Why not? And create an intelligence agency. The Abwehr? That's okay. Army innovations? English German friendship? Yes, please. We like having friends occasionally. Somewhat useful. Um, you guys over here. Train for now. You should be good enough to hold out. Actually, I, I'm going to make another army for Italy. You never know they might attack. You just never know. But after this, let's do uh, network research. That would be good. But Germanic neighbors first. Oh, oh. also it's the Lorraine War. The Germanic nations of Europe are natural allies. They have similar culture and similar languages. They are also the constant bastion in Europe against ra radical threats. We must strengthen our balance and begin building new bridges. Absolutely. So, you guys stop doing that for now. Um, I just don't trust the Italians. I mean... Who should? Who really does trust the Italians? Not us. Hmm, yes. One little Vorbeck? Yes, please. Oh, what is that? A jungle rat. Oh, well, not. There's no jungles here right now, but that's alright. There you can have that one too. Cool. I'll say it's a rain or war. The French presented an ultimatum today. Either we return the claims or they will take it by force. Oh. The fall of night. Oh, oh yeah, they're still doing stuff over there. Um, give them a couple days. I want to get more stuff here first. How are our planes? Let's make sure we divide them up appropriately here, and then we'll go with how many do we have? Um, let's go with two. One, two. Actually, where are you guys? You guys are these guys. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, there you go. You guys have that one, and you guys have that one too. Cool. You three, Os, have Stukas, that's fine. And throw one over there, have two. Um, anyone else for planes? We got some more casts. Fighters? Yeah, we got some more fighters too, that's good. Yeah, uh, throw all 400 over to here. Should have made more air bases, realistically. Oh well. And bombers, I'm not going to use those guys. I'll probably, I'll probably take them out later on. And throw them all right there, but really half of you guys go right there too. You know, I'll save in front of you guys too. Why not? You can see my saves. Oh look, England save. Very nice. Oh, uh, Anglo friend. Ah, oh, good. Germanic neighbors. Ah, better anti-air. Very good. So working on that stuff down there. It is 1939, so almost 1940. We can grab some recon though. That'd be fine with me. Happy to stumble first, everybody. And we will be the defenders in this war. Good. Go suck a fat one, France. 
Hmm. I'm gonna wait to get more air XP first. Oh, this stuff's fine. Go gun stuff. There we go. Oh, and stop turning over here too. That would be bad. Ah, the French declare war on us! France followed through with their threats and declared war on us. Given our mutual position and alliances, this war will be devastating for everyone involved. Gott stay uns by. Well, everyone, let's see what happens. And these guys are going to war with us. Did I do this yet? Oh, I did make sure that they did not do too, too badly to us. And always make sure that uh, when you're importing stuff, uh, you now I'm importing it over the, uh, the ocean when you're at war, so. Cool, thank you. Exactly what we need. Are we over the ocean? No. Tricky, you still trade with us, which is fine. Which is fine. And you guys, sorry, America, not today. Uh, Soviet Union, probably not Iran? Yeah. There we go. And here come the Soviet boys. Germany under attack? You bet we are. Uh, how much anti air do we have? That's not a lot. We don't have a lot of things, do we? We got plenty of support equipment, though. That's kind of nice. Uh, they aren't attacking us here, which is a little disappointing. Treat with the USSR. There you go. If you want to buy that, please go ahead. But whatever. Uh, since we're at war, we can actually go do this now, too. Ooh. Yeah, pretty good. Mm. Can you guys actually do anything here? I mean, it says you can't. I really kind of doubt it, though. Oh, and you call our allies in, too. Uh, before we do that, then. Are you guys really just not going to attack us here? Are you guys... I don't know. Might as well try it, you know? Might as well try it. Yeah, it's not going to go well. Just hold for now. Oh, right, see, now they're attacking us. Look, there we go. They're, now they're attacking us. I was, I was hoping to bait them in anyways, but... Uh, it's got a mixed bag over here. What over here? No? Alright. Mm, ah, very, very, very nice, very nice, very nice. Uh, that's not looking good over here, is it? There you go. Have a good time over there, guys. 16, that's not good. If that's the case... You guys could race over here and hold the line, that'd be great. Oh, they're actually doing stuff over there, that's not good. Oh, they actually pushed in, that's why. I just wanted to bait the, the French. Wow, those are some big casualties right now. Not bad. Obviously, they are qu pushing in quite well. I'm going to go ahead and reinforce this section here, too. Get in there, boys. Oh, well, that armor is going to help reinforce. Oh, we have better artillery shells. Great, that's a little bit too ahead of time for me, but it's about 1940. Very good. Let's get some research. Some nuclear research. Oh, that's not good over here, too. That's not good. Well, if we have to, I can always force a fan, so we're not going to lose that province. Very good. Um, Swamp Germans, invite them. Eh, we'll see. Schleswig, we'll be okay with that stuff for now. Uh, what else do we have down here? Oh, do we need to do this stuff? Oh, yeah, we definitely do this. Restructure the armed forces. Now that our countries are administered as one, we have the problem that we have repetitive military branches with very different structures and goals. It'll take some effort to make them effective and restructure them. At least we can tap into a very diverse pool of knowledge, hopefully improving the outcome significantly. Come on down, South Boys. Y'all gonna need some help. Oh, they're gonna need some help. Oh, they're trying to break through them lines very harshly. They've lost a lot of guys, though. Uh, the Soviets, how are they doing? Oh, they're actually attacking upstairs, too. Oh, okay. I'm just a little bit more concerned about this side, really. Oh, the French probably have quite a bit of manpower, I assume, right? Oh, they took Bear, and that is not good. Ah, screw this army. Losses. Eh, that's not too bad so far. How much manpower do they have, actually? They have quite a bit. They're on the extensive conscription. Of course, we are on it as well. Of course, equipment wise, we're going to need way more artillery shells, unfortunately. Oh, but anti air, yes, please. Yes, please. No deficit here. No deficit. No, 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 no. Oh, look at this, yes. Han Schultz. Or Schultz. Yes. Thank you. Danke schön. Millies. Eh, throw on uh, one, two. There you go. I mean, overall, not bad. It's not great right now because they they're still attacking like crazy. Fuel refining is going to be good. Get some radar too, perhaps. And they're slowly taking us out, which is not very good. If you want to help take them out here too, you might be able to. They do have a lot of guys here. We do have forty combo with, but we'll see. 
Yeah, just hold. Yeah, attack over here. That's good. As long as we got green, we're good. All right, Bundeswehr. With the federalization of the Confederation, we are left with many different organized divisions. We must organize them, reorganize them, in order to form a new homogeneous Bundeswehr. The first heir was a patchwork of the members of the first Bund. Uh, the four major contributors back then were Prussia, Austria, Bavaria, and Saxony. The ta this time, it'll be one central force. Actually, how bad does it hurt us? Oh, the organization is minus 30%. That's kind of probably part of the reason why we're losing in some of these areas here. Honestly, like, it's not very good. And we do have no forts here. Okay. You have forts over here. If they even back this up a little bit more, we'll still be okay. Losses. Quite a few losses for them. I like it. War bands. Oh, we can invite the UK. That wouldn't be bad. Um, sure, why not? War bonds? I kind of like war bonds. Yeah, war bonds are nice. Oh, they're taking over here, too. That's not good, my friends. That's not good. Hey, they joined the European Vanguard. Very good. A handshake of Neville Chamberlain and Conrad Adenauer. Adenauer. Together we shall withstand anything. Also, those are the comments for me to try out Red Flood Persia. Uh, try out United Europe Path and compromise with the Poles. Yeah, basically we did compromise with the Poles, so they're doing okay over here. They really just love beating the crap out of us, don't they? Or just attempting to. Um, what do we have over here? Any, oh, any upgrades? Yes. Infantry expert, that's not bad. Uh, custody dent. Uh, he's okay. Amici. Hmm. Oh, fortress buster. That's fine. And that's a little questionable over there. Over here, it's a little questionable as well. So we'll see what happens. Just artillery is looking pretty good. Not gonna lie. Look at all that. All that green. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. We've already killed off almost 700,000 of them already. That is not a deal. Yeah, I definitely don't want to call in the Dutch or get them in. So that probably would be good for us. So let's get rid of the deficit of organization. Well, standardization, modern. Ooh. Preemptive strike. Oh, I can't do that one. But we'll do standardization. We cannot train competent new troops before we've agreed on how we want to equip and train them. Oh, are they pushing out a little bit even further? Oh, they're definitely trying. I'll give them that. They're definitely trying. If they win here, that's really bad, but hopefully they don't. I'm not worried about this front because they don't seem to be doing very well, which is good. Um, auto. Yeah, we gotta go with auto. Oh wow, they are about to lose here. How? There you go, do that. Then again, I forgot these guys are mostly 20 combat with infantry, so I forgot about that. My bad. There you go. I don't even want to see this stuff. I'm sorry, I just, I don't care. And these guys should, oh actually. Ah, oh, see, look at that. Cavalry Brigade. That's why I didn't get rid of the Schneller Division yet. That's much better for police than what we got currently. That's not going to save us anything right now, but that's okay. That's a little concerning down there for that red, but still. I wonder what Italy's doing right now. They're just kind of like hanging out. They're fully communist. Yeah, they're definitely giving the guys a run for the money. Uh, Morardi, please. Morardi is always good. We have more than enough support equipment. Wow. Good on a 10. Fill us out with this stuff, man. Just shell the crap out of them if you can. The goal is to hold the line. Oh, boy. That is not good. The Soviets are finally doing something here. Bundeswehr. Well, it was standardization. Oh, look at that. That is a little bit more... Uh not bad. Modernize the Bundes staff. The military leaders from our nations must be reforged into something, into a new staff. We must unify our ranks and agree on new tactics. This revitalization should make a very effective force. Very good. Very, very good. Grab some more soft attack. I am just worried about this one. You're not allowed to lose. Literally not allowed to lose, my friends. Here, do that one too. You know what, screw it. I'm going to convert all you guys, except for you, to this as well. Uh, Geberg's Division. Oh, this one's the better one we wanted to use. These guys are okay. These guys need to become beefy boys, because we like them beefy. If they're not beefy, we don't want them. Hey, at least do that for now. Get some field hospitals. Get some, uh, that one too. Grab some anti-air. At the very least. There we go. That's a little better. We need still more artillery, but I'm not really too worried about it right now. 
These guys are trying to push down a little bit, but nah, that's not too bad. Realistically, it's okay. Right here. Oh, here we go. Nice. Become a spy master. That'd be nice. Very good. I, just uh, seriously, Italy, what, what are you doing? You just hanging here, having a good old time. Ah, oh, Conrad, uh, do infantry expert. That's good. Anything here? Nope. All right, how many have we killed? We've, uh, well, in the common term, 1.3 million have died so far, mostly from the French column. We've quickly followed up by the Soviet Union. We've lost 100,000 people so far, but, you know, it could be a lot worse. Let them run out of manpower. Let them run out. We'll be fine. Uh, Equipment-wise, what do they have for stockpiles? They have a lot of equipment, which is very nice for them. Very nice. Guns, I mean, artillery. We went from minus 2,100 to minus 1,100 within, what, like a few weeks? A week or two? 55 pieces of artillery are made every single day. So, that's uh, pretty good. I'd say that's put it on good. Yeah, they definitely don't want to attack us yet. We need to get logistic companies too eventually, probably, but hey, we'll see. Ah, standardization followed up with modern and Bundes staff. Ah, special forces. That's not bad. Not bad. Print of strike. Um, we've, uh, with a newly found strength in mind, we, uh, we shall shatter the scourge of your hope. We, sh we aided it in the creation of this monster, and so we must be the ones who will slay it. Just destiny is all. 41. That stuff is fine. Oh, fighters, yes. What do you want to do next? Around the Stalin line, now, nah, Blundes Flotilla, Luftwaffe, Secret Service. Yeah, that's that one. We should have expanded Abteilung Bay, Dry Bay, into a fully fledged department with proper funding, staff, and guidelines capable of aiding any war efforts, as well as internal and external affairs. There we go. Nice. Very good. And Sophia Schmidt, looking pretty good. Nancy Wake. Um, I want to go with Vladimir Zaimov. Nah, he's already with us. Sophia. Mama Sophia. The French are my main concern right now, so. And then there's the Spanish, of course, too. Look at that. Just just throwing their men away. That's why I like baiting them in. Artillery? There will be no deficit very, very soon. Very, very soon. Holy crap. Uh, trucks are looking fine. Get some more fighters and get some more casts as well. Are we improving, making more of this stuff? Not bad. Uh, one, two, three. I like having space actually build things here. Finally. Oh, the Dutch... Oh, do we already establish that? They kind of caved in? I thought they already established that. Okay. They are pushing through here just a little bit, but it's really not that bad. We've already killed two million of them off. Pretty nice. Improved computing machine. Very nice. Uh, what is next? Logistics? Yeah, sure. Why not? Or no, that's uh, field hospitals. Yeah. The preemptive strike. That's what we read. But I like... That's what we should bypass, right? Yeah. Because we're already war with them, so... Should be okay. Three days left. We get better division training time, organization, recovery rate, planning speed goes up by 111%. Kind of nuts. And it's all to bypass. Great. Secret service. Let's see. Fatherland security, covert operations. Alright. Incentivized cooperation. Master plan. Fatherland security. Well, it sounds like I should go with the right one if we're doing the Kaiserreich, but let's go with the one on the left. Covert operations. Our secret police should be an extension of our might and military arm. We must be able to hit the enemy precisely where it hurts the most. Oh, they actually naval invaded. Look at that. The Spanish did, I should say. So, Sophia Schultz? Alright. Eh, I'll come back over here. Why not? How is the resistance here? They just, they just love killing themselves, don't they? Ah, it's going up higher and higher. We love it. Um, anything else here, really? We don't need more propaganda for now, but we might still do that anyways. Because we can. Let's go on first. We have almost 2 million manpower. So after this, actually it's almost done. Not yet, though. Uh, rubber, how's that looking? We're doing quite well in rubber. Doing so well, we don't need to import anymore. But we will take your tungsten, British Malaya. Thank you. As we're building up more and more refineries, so we'll be energy independent, so hopefully someday. Of course, the air is taking most of the stuff up. How is our stockpile of equipment like? More naval bombers, more fighters, you know, the good stuff. Making those defenses, very nice. Kampf Grupa, yes, yes, yes. Alright, fighters. Um, a lot of you guys have nothing over there, so you're really getting hit hard, probably. I'm doing okay, though. We do have allies over there. Secret Service, very good. Followed up with covert operations. And Carl Hoffner. And... Special training. Our success relies heavily on the operatives that carry out their missions. We must make sure that our operatives would give their life for the cause if need be by making them physically and mentally strong. 
followed up with incentivize cooperation. We need local collaborators and informants if we want to operate quickly. It is known that bribes and promises of refuge make a brilliant combination when trying to win someone over. We must secure the necessary funding first, however. Pretty normal. Um, it's 40, 1940. Better gas. How are our ships? I've not really used any of our ships yet. There you go. Go over there. So, we've killed, what, 3 million? Yes, 3 million. Now, not bad. Mostly for the French commune. How much more manpower do you have? I can't imagine they have a ton left. Methodical battle? They are. They have guns. Everything else, not so much. A lot of support equipment, though. Manpower is almost gone. They went to uh, service by requirement. How much manpower do you guys have? Probably a ton. Nope, they have none. Of course, they're only on extensive. And now they're out as well. So any damage we do now could really damage... Okay, they're still attacking. What the heck is wrong with these people? Seriously, what is wrong with them? I mean, these guys pushed into us quite well, I would say, but... Can we push them back out? Yes, quite well. Quite well. Very nice. Infantry expert, thank you. And let's grab one of these. They're still attacking us. Emma Hoffman? Hello, Emma. Always like girls named Emma. Well, I should say always. Probably usually. Not always, but usually. And if it's extra two, why not? Hmm. Even better, Artie. Actually, how much anti-air do we have? Yeah, I need to actually boost that up like quite a bit more. I do want to get some medium tanks too, so. Fuck Wolf? Are we using carriers for this one? No, we're not. Incentivize cooperation. And master plan. Every operation must fit into a larger picture or bigger picture if we want to be effective. Our so-called master plan will be a masterpiece, which will be flexible and well thought out. Everyone plays a small role, but as Aristotle used to say, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Nice. Very good. Uh, it is 1940. We want to get bigger ships. Yes, the bigger the better. I like doing big damage. Big damage. Uh, you know what? Let's improve stability for now. Assassination of Trotsky. Well, goodbye, Trotsky. Uh, Trotsky Neda no longer exists with us. Actually, uh, military factories keep boosting them up, too. They must be really bombing the living crap out of this place. There you go. More millies. More millies. Infinite millies. Because our tanks need to be bigger. Huge. And we're just going to throw on the medium tanks immediately. We don't have nearly the supply that we really do need for these guys, but whatever. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Anything else over here? No, no, no. Yes, you can throw that one on. There you go. Now our deficit is massive for medium tanks, which is fine. Actually, do we have anything over here? Oh, fighter twos. Yeah, we need that. I guess we got it. There you go. Good. Artillery is looking really good, so we can actually lower it by quite a bit, probably. Still need more tungsten, though. Mm, you guys are fine. Convert you guys to 40s. Agent captured. Well, that's not good. Cavalry, that's fine. Uh, infantry, I'm not going to use that for this one, this campaign. No, thanks. Alright, let's come back over here and do this. Infiltration risk. That's good. Oh. Nice. Penny incident. Alright. Um, Looking really good, except on medium things. Incentivize cooperation and master plan. Good. Alright, so we're looking at a ton of artillery, all or nothing armor scheme is very good. Let's see, anything else here? Better good cannons, yes please. Dual operating stuff as well. I want to take this back. We have to get this back. Begin the offensive. We've lost 150,000 versus 3.6 million. Pretty good so far, I'd say. Ah, Luxembourg is back. Now they're going to be death stacking over here a little bit, so... Should be able to attack here too, right? Let's see if we can actually attack this area and push in. That'd be kind of nice, actually. Oh, they do... Hello. Why not? Can they actually pierce us? Probably. No, they can't. That's good. Radio interception. Very good. I'll go and hold for now. That's fine. Ah, they caught us. Go, 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 before they throw even more boys in. 
Break over the river if you can. Come on. Count Troopa. I could go Desperate Defense, but good enough manpower for now. Let's go with Fire Brigades. How are we doing on the rest of the line? Not bad. Oh, come on. Ah, they're throwing so many people in there. That sucks. You know what? You guys hold. You guys actually go up there. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, that sucks. That's fine. We're getting navel invaded. That's fine. Move up. No, you, you, know, you, know, you guys have to move up. Northwest Germany. Well, time to blow the fleet. There goes the fuel. Master plan's good. Luftwaffe, why not? We must continue to work on the extension or expansion of our Air Force. We've seen its value and its importance during the Civil War. We have to decide whether we want to focus on some supporting our front lines or if we want to focus on cross-national strategic bombardments. Yep, we are doing some stuff here. Rating is nice. Not sure what the UK is up to, but we've done really well so far. These guys are actually struggling a little bit over there, which is not good, but hey, it's okay. Things happen. So that stuff is good. We got some more RXP. Let's grab that one. Did we actually lose something here? Holy crap. Subs, planes. How do they planes over there? What the heck? Fighters? Not on my watch. Yeah, throw the tactical bombers. We'll use them until they blow up. We get more fighters, too. Uh, good. There you go. Not bad. Um, oh, we're pretty good on this stuff, too. Nice. Starting around of areas here to build stuff. How do they have so many planes around here? They they're range. They must be using heavy heavy bombers or something. All right. I do want to attack down here, but I don't think we have enough strength to do so. Yeah, we don't. We don't. We just do not. All right. Um, I want to attack here too, but I don't think we'll have enough strength either. Well, slowly we're going to convert everyone to forty combo with. Screw it, everyone already should be. Ah, screw it, everyone but... Actually, everyone already is, except for you guys. Cool, make these guys 40 combo with this wall. Oh, and did we get them? Heavy ship hole, nice. Grab some of this too. Maybe we didn't get them. Actually, what we could do is. Maybe this orchestra to coup, it'd be kind of nice. Infiltrate? Eh, sure, why not? Hmm, there we go. Well, this is kind of at a standstill now, which kind of sucks. I kind of wish these guys would do something else over here, but whatever. Jesus Christ, wh where are their planes coming from? I mean, these, these ships aren't very good, but still. You guys go ahead and repair. I don't really care about the subs too much. Hmm. I mean, they beefcake themselves so much. Improved heavy batteries, it's fine. Uh, that's fine too. Push back over the river. Uh, invest in portfolio. Nah, I don't care about that right now. All right, that's a little bit too ahead of time for us. It's 40, 1940 still. What else can we do? 40, 41. Get more output, I guess, if you really want to. Because we need more planes and medium tanks. That's good. We got that stuff coming along. 41. Yeah, there you go. You might as well. Sedan. What, what's going on over here? Cool. I do want to attack over there as well. Yeah, we definitely need more divisions. Though I'm pretty sure they're going to start attacking us again sometime because they're just throwing on more guys. So, Alpine Fultz. What can we do on this front? Probably not too much. Luftwaffe. Uh, flying Panzer. Uh, that's not bad for heavy fighters. Not really using them, but mobile fighters probably. We need small and agile planes that can dodge or can dodge enemy fire and give our bombers enough room to breathe to carry out their missions. Very true. Uh, we lost more planes, did we? All right. So at this point, I'm going to convert. Actually, you guys come over here. 40 count width is probably a really bad idea for this, these groups. So there you go. There we go. That's a little better for what we have currently, probably. Um, yeah, I, I really want to attack here, but there's really no good place to. These are mountains. So that's really bad to attack. I think I'll attack here next, maybe. Let's see if we can try. Oh, 
Because if we can break over to Sedan and then go up immediately that direction, that'd be good. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness, again, with the capturing. Hmm. Did we push over? Yes, we did. That's good. So let these guys figure out where they're going to go. And we're going to make more tanks, too. Tanks, tanks, tanks. Eh, that's okay. Throw more in here. We got enough anti air. You guys. I'll probably get rid of the field hospitals eventually. Uh, anti air. Go with recon. Actually, how many light tanks do we have? Can we actually do this? No, we cannot. But can we do this one? Well, anti air is going to have to suffer for now. Whatever. I don't care. Up uh, next, armor. That's not bad. Actually, we're using armor anyways. Might as well use them. Oh, Ivan, what's going on? It's fine, and Bulgaria. You know, please, thank you. How's it going on down here? It's getting worse. It's slowly getting worse and worse and worse and worse. That's not good. Can you guys actually do well over here? Maybe? Yeah? No? Maybe. Eh, it's not great. Eh, nope, you can win. That sucks. Well... Oh well. Well, let's see. Anything else we can do? We can try another attack here first. Let's see. Tanks. Actually, you guys do have anti-air on them. We don't need field hospitals though. Just stream one at a time. Oh boy. Another sub sunk. My god! They have, noth they have no bases over here. Literally no bases. And they're still able to sink everything here. Where the hell are the planes? Seriously. Make the god dang planes. Who cares about dockyards? Um, where's our artillery at? This is, this is pathetic. Going down to 15. And we need more of this stuff, too. It's fine. Aluminum. No, we'll do it with Hungary. Come back over here and do this. It's fine. What the hell? Okay, we got it. Get those planes in the air. My god. My good god. Also, let's get this, too, going. We need radar here. Oh, you finally did something, huh, Britain? You finally did something. We're gonna move all the way over if we can. That'd be good. I'll send you guys in too. Why not? Come on. Oh, Hungarian bomber competition. If you want to rebuild that, please go ahead. That's fine. Go, boys, go. Zero room for retreating. Go, 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 go. You're gonna you're literally gonna attack us here, huh? Alright, we'll see about that. All I care about is as long as we get over here. That's all I care about. Break over, break over, break over, break over. We got him! Okay, you guys. Oh, you guys are kinda of actually winning now already. That's kinda of nice, actually. It's nice to win sometimes. Good, good, good. Nice. Can't believe that actually worked. I would like to encircle these guys, so we'll see what happens. I think I'm actually push you guys here too. I guess we keep sinking some stuff. That's nice. Yeah, I'm really not paying attention towards this front at all, or am I? It's all right. Let them let them waste themselves. Yeah, just let the British do a D-Day. That's literally what they just did. So, cool. Ah, fire brigades are good. Let's grab this one too. And mobile fighters and close air support. We must invest in deadly plans that can deliver precise strikes and small military targets and personnel to suppress them and alleviate pressure from our front lines. Probably finished with that one immediately. And let's read one more before we end the episode. Social justice. Do we want to do social justice? Well, maybe. Let's do network research. We should restructure our research and form new structures within our, with our new allies over time, which will help everyone here. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. If you think you can come up with a better name than Avva for our intelligence agency, please let me know in the comments below. But regardless, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll capitulate both sides of the war. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.